Hello everybody, my name is Zadnazer and welcome back to Undertale. So in this episode, we are going to go talk to, or attempt to talk to Undyne. And then after that, we are going to go talk to Alphys. So first I have to find Undyne's house, which is, I believe, back further around the place where, what's his name's house is, uh, his name is, uh, Papyrus, right. We're supposed to go to Papyrus' house or something like that. Oh, let me get my timer set up. Okay, and we are all set for this next adventure. So after this, if I didn't already just say it and I'm having amnesia from before, we are going to go check out Alphys' lab. Apparently, there's something there as well. Okay guys, I'm back. Um It was just up here. I was just being stupid. <laughs> okay. What? 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 It's a living It's a living <laughs> That's it? Alright. Oh uh how -huh. the human arrives. I hate this voice, but it's so ridiculously funny. Are you really ready to hang out with Undyne? Oh you can say I've been ready for a few lifetimes if you get what I mean. I have a plan to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? Yeah, sure. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. Is that a dog treat? Whoa, that door is freaking awesome. Uh, how, what was her voice? Hi, Papyrus. Hi. Hey! Okay. <gasps> Alright. <laughs> that was awkward. Okay. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one on one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Hi. Hi. Ugh. Can't do it. I don't think. Oh, there it is. Hi. I don't think we've met. We've. Uh. Huh. Why don't you two come in? <laughs> Do you see it? Oh, he ran on the floor like that. Here, Undyne. My friend brought a gift for you. On their own. Uh, thanks. Did he keep the gift? And I didn't take it? Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, Put it with the others. I'm not... She must hate them. Oh my gosh, okay. So I've got to figure... Uh, what is her voice? It's like... It's a cool dude voice with a raspy... So... Are we ready to start? Whoopsie doozy. I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You're gonna go in there and say something like... Wait, skeletons have no organs or something like that, right? You two have fun. What? What was the purpose of that? Okay, okay, sure. So, why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Really? How delightful. I accept. Challenge accepted. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. 
Oh, was the reason he exited out the window was you can't really exit out the mouth? You know, I might just jump out a window myself. Huh, anyway. You are the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Okay, I guess out the window. Dang, what a shame. Was he standing out there the whole time? I thought Undyne could be friends with you, but I guess I overestimated her. Over? She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke. I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Papyrus, you clever little man. Skeleton, sorry. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're gonna be... besties. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. I've heard this before somewhere. I can't really remember where. Hmm. Okay, just checking that everything's recording properly. Unlike last time. Oh, guys, last time the recording was so hard to to like edit and stuff. It was just ridiculous because it kept crashing during the middle, so I had to edit crash points. But you guys don't want to hear that. I'm sorry. I keep rambling about stuff like that that you don't want to hear. Okay. <laughs> it's a perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? This is that dating tension thing start or something like that, I forgot. Sit down and progress? Yeah. Alright. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. Oh, what a... Just like a proper friend would do. Of course, best friends would probably go like, go get the drink yourself. All set. What would you like? Oh. Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Aim with arrows and select with Z. Oh, this is cool. Okay. T-box. Blatantly correct choice. Hot chocolate. Green cylinder. Soda. Sticky yellow liquid. That's not soda. Sugar goes into tea. I feel like I should just be an, a stupid person and just hit the sugar. L let's just hit sugar, see what happens. That sugar's for the tea. I'm not gonna give you a cup of sugar. What do I look like? The ice cream woman? The human ice cream woman terrorize humanity with energy spears? Are there ice cream songs a prelude to destruction? Is that it? No. <laughs> That's what I thought. Wait, wait, I want to see what happens when I say yes. Oh man, I can't. Okay. Soda. Oh, soda? Actually, even thought you pointed to it. You don't look happy. Heh, <laughs> that's fine. I think soda's gross too. It rots your teeth. It rots your mind. It rots your fighting spirit. Huh? Why do I have it? What is that face? It's like a kawaii face. But seriously, that looks like a jar of pee. That doesn't look like... It's sticky. Wait, was that why she's... Oh my gosh. Okay, hot chocolate. Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait. I just remembered. That container's empty. <laughs> I stopped getting it. Because it was always a hassle. Asgore kept getting his marshmallows stuck in his beard. Oh, was that funny? Sorry. Tea, huh? Coming right up. Because that's the only choice I give you. Why? Why would you trust me with an energy spear? I'm your enemy. Oh, I guess I don't have very good shooting skills. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. So, are we gonna talk or something? Can I move? No, I can't move. Hey, what's that on the right? It looks like a sword. Like a plastic sword. Okay, it's all done. Like, you know those play stores? Oh, maybe that's what Papyrus trains with. Then why do you jump out the window? Okay, that's not logically possible. The cup would slant down the table. Then again, we're on a 2D view, so I can't actually see what slant the table's on. 
Here we are. Oh, I just realized there's fish on the wall. Careful. It's hot. Um, can I drink it? It's not that hot. I'm just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? I just read exactly what the announcer said. Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. So... Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Well, you didn't let me choose any. Wait, were there other teas? Golden flower tea. This is golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Okay, other than you didn't give me any choice, and this is the only way to progress the story, okay, that's cool and all, but... Of course this would be Asgore's favorite tea, because... Well, actually... Never mind, we'll talk about that later, but... Let's see. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Oh, wait, what? Sort of. Yeah, don't... Don't talk bad about the king. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. Oh, that's why when I told him I didn't want to fight. Okay, gotcha. I was so humiliated. This is actually a better time to learn. If I had gone back and talked to Undyne early, this wouldn't have made sense. But now that I've already fought Asgore, this actually makes sense to me. Hopefully it makes sense to all of y'all too. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me. Oh. Excuse me. Do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes. And from then on, he trained me. One day during practice. I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now, I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks how to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. This music always plays whenever something important is coming up. Okay, important stuff is going. Oh no, I thought the music was going to fade, but oh well. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. I mean... Look, he was supposed to capture you. He's supposed to do the dirty work. And he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. Because he's too much of an innocent person. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. <laughs> oh, that's sad. I shouldn't be laughing. That's part of why... I started teaching him how to cook, you know. You started... Oh, okay. So, um... He could do something else with his life. And she just realized she opened up to me. Oh, sorry. I was talking for so long. No, that was good. Keep, keep going, really. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. <laughs> Wait a second. Papyrus... His cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now. And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. Dang, alright. That's right. Nothing was brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can imagine. Ever imagine. <laughs> Afraid? We're gonna be best friends. I thought I thought I lost my mic there. I looked around, I was like, oh, could I have my mic? Alright. Oh my head, it hurts. Okay, sure. How Kim, how are you just fine from that? Whatever. Let's start with the sauce. 
dang, you have fruits and vegetables on the ceiling? Bro, that's bad app. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. How will you pound? Strong. You punch the vegetables at full force. You knock over a tomato. Oh gosh, you're whippy, Kim. Yeah, yeah. Our hearts are united against these healthy vegetables. Ingredients. Now it's my turn. No! Oh, dang. Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. It's okay. But for now... Where are all these things coming from? You tie everything to the ceiling? We add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. True that, bro. True that. <laughs> uh, just, you know, put them in the pot. How will you put them in? Fiercely. You throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the pot. Oh. I should have chose carefully. It clanks against the empty bottom. Yeah, I'm into it, bruh. Alright, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. We're gonna make mashed potatoes. Ready? Let's do this. Okay, jam, jam, jam. Stir harder. I'm trying harder. Harder! Oh gosh, I can't spin that fast at all. Uh, let me do it. You know, if you had given me a spear, that would have been easier. <laughs> That's the stuff. Alright. Now the final step. Turn up the heat. Turn down for- Okay, no. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Okay, my passion. Alright. Let your hopes and dreams turn into a burning fire. Alright, here. Okay. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Pre hold right to turn up the heat. Come on. Um, that's not how it works. That's not... Oh my gosh, this is a fire hazard. Are you kidding me? Wait, that's too... They just burned down her house. Oh shoot, everything's red. Oh, her eyes are red too. Uh, man. No wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. Because he has an awful teacher? So, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Huh. Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. It's okay, and I already like you, mate. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends... It means I can destroy you without regret. Again? Oh my gosh, I've been defeated. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. Okay, guys, if this ends up going south, you know what's gonna happen. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch, all out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on. Hit me with all you got. Nah! Undyne is letting you make the first attack. Fake attack. Your apprentice... Okay. That was it. One damage. I actually hit her. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Punk. Heh. <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either, bruh. At first, I hated your stupid sakura and shtick, but the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. You know, Asgore, or the person I rambled on and on for a minute about. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him, the big fella himself, Asgore. Listen, human. It seems that As... You and Asgore are fated to fight. Oh, we actually um, fought each other a little while ago. Um, I think you could rewind, uh, let's say, one episode and you can go watch it yourself. 
But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Nah, he didn't want to either. Talk to him. I tried, actually. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now, let's get the out of this flaming house. Okay, I would censor that, but I have no idea how to censor videos. So, this sucks. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time, bruh. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk to you. Well, see you later, punk. Oh, wait. This is a sudden, but... Can you... Hey, wait. Your inventory's full. Uh, well, I'll be at Papyrus's. Come see me when you have less stuff. That looks cooler. It sounds like only fire lives here now. This looks cool. Like, this looks cooler. I have to admit. Wait, my inventory's full with what? Okay, I'm just gonna save here. Yeah, alright. What is my invent? No, 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 I don't wanna do it again. Okay. It's so easy to save that it's like, I don't care about saving twice. I mean, it doesn't mind matter to save twice. Glam Burger. I thought I used a ton of those, actually. Alright, we are going to use Dimensional Box A, and we're going to put... I'm going to put the Warm, da warm Dagger... Heart locket and the hot cat. Actually, I want the hot cat. Okay, and we're gonna go to Snowden. So I will actually no, I don't have to say anything. I can just go down here, I think. And never mind. Actually, I have to keep. I have to um, go walk down here a little bit to because I need to talk to the the man down the river who sings tra la la. Oh yes, it's the dog. Tra la la, care for a ride. Right in the boat, yes. Where will you go today? Snowden, then we're off. This gets me every time. Oh my gosh, <laughs> seeing that dog just run on the river. Tra la la, the angel's coming. Tra la la. I wonder if we put like all of these things he said together, will it actually be a real message? Something important to the storyline that we don't know? I don't know, who knows? Oh, this is that top spot. Okay. I probably said this already. Come again sometime. Try la la. <laughs> Into the mustache guy. All right, so let's go to what's his name's house. Hey, it's a library. Um, let's go to. Oh, they're outside. Cool. Um, so I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I I need you to deliver this letter to Doctor Alphys. Oh, I'm going there. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Um, well... It's kind of personal, but... We're friends, so... I'll tell you. Huntland sucks! I don't want to have to go over there! So... <laughs> and I'm a wimp, but here you go! You got Undyne's letter, alright. Oh, and if you read it... I'll kill you. Thanks so much, you're the best. Undyne writes a lot of letters, but she can never seem to find the right words. So when she goes to deliver them herself, she always quits so she can go back and rewrite. That's why she asks you, because you have no standards. Thanks, friend. I really don't know what to say to that. Okay. Um, no, 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 I should, I'm going the wrong way. All right. Let's go up. To, I, th I believe it's the Hotlands, and we can go by river travel. Like, if there was this river travel all over the place, this would be so much easier. Draw the law, care for a ride. Ride in the boat, yes. Where will we go today? Hotlands. Then we're off. Okay, are you just waiting for me every single day? Just. 
ok? Trollala, humans, monsters, flowers. Ok, this is getting deadly specific now. I'm, I'm really wondering if there's some significance to his words. Come again sometime, Trollala. There's gotta be some significance between blah, behind all these words. Okay, Alphys's lab. Let's see, the door has no mail slot. Slide it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Why did it say no with exclamation marks? Oh, I have to do Alphys now. Hmm. Oh no! Is that another letter? I I don't want to open it. Can't I just slide it back out? <laughs> well, the heat outside just melted a cup. And when I said melt a cup last time, and I didn't explain why, it's because plastic, I believe, melts at... Actually, let me look this up so I don't BS everybody, and then everybody starts going, Oh, you were wrong. So let's see, what does plastic melt at? Plastic melts. Well, for that matter, water, the water evaporated. And in order for water to evaporate, it has to be 212 degrees Fahrenheit. And so, what degrees does it have to be? Oh. Never mind. Okay, it appears that 248 degrees Fahrenheit is the temperature that it takes to melt plastic. Which means I'm definitely dead. Because the highest temperature in Guinness World Records that has ever been recorded is 130 degrees that humans have survived. And I think that was in the Savannah Desert somewhere. I don't know. I'm making stuff up now. Okay, yeah. No, no. I, I can't keep doing this. I'll, re I'll read this one. Um, it, it's kind of shut strongly, isn't it? Well, wait a second. Opens the door. Oh my gosh, what did you use? Oh, okay, I thought you used like a like a chainsaw or something. Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god, did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I have no idea who could have... Oh gosh, Kim doesn't speak ever. Oh, oh my god, oh no, that's adorable. And I had no idea you, um, wrote that way. It's surprising, too. After all the gross stuff I did, I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um, this, this, and so passionately, too. Uh, you know what? Okay, uh, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Uh, yeah, let's go on a date. Dating start? Oh my gosh, this is the dating simulator. Can I can I open the dating scenarios? No, I can't. Uh, sorry, I'm still getting dressed. Oh my gosh. Whoa. H how do I look? You look good. You're looking good. My friend helped me pick out this dress. Uh, was it Undyne that helped you? Or was it Metaton? Alf, oh, it was... Undyne. She, she's got a great sense of, um... Anyway, l let's do this thing. Dating start. Uh, hey, hey, wait. Actually, uh, we still can't start this date yet. D dating stop? Uh, I, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistics first. We are not playing Honey Pop right now. I'm sorry, you... Oh my gosh, okay, sure. <laughs> That'll increase the... Chance of a successful outcome to this. This sounds like Honey Pop. For all those who don't know what Honey Pop is, it's a game where it's basically a dating sim where you meet a girl and then you match candies like in Candy Crush in order to like bring up a level. And if you make a certain amount of points in 20 moves, then the date is successful and you can move on or something like that. And if you don't know what Candy Crush is, it's like Bejeweled. If you don't know what Bejeweled is, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Right? Anyway, d don't worry. I I'm prepared. I I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. Uh, first, I've got some uh, metal armor polish. Uh, 
Um, maybe you can't use this. That. That sounds like something Undyne could use, though. B but I've also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. This sounds like Undyne could use that. Your, uh, scales. <laughs> uh, well, how about this magical spear repairing cake that I... That sounds strangely like somebody I know by the name of Undyne. Um, hey, let's forget about the items. Uh, let's just start the date. Dating? Start. Yeah, let's, uh, date. Is... am I supposed to do something? Oh, I get it. Uh... Because we can't think of interesting topics to talk about. Let me guess, she's gonna ask about the weather. D do you like anime? Yeah. Hey, me too. Oh my gosh. Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to um, go on a date? Uh, I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. Oh. <laughs> Is that a dog on the upper left-hand corner? Is that a dog? Okay. Here we are. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. You know, you should be on this date with Undyne, not me. We find all sorts of great stuff here. She's really... Uh... Oh, no. That's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well... Oh no, here, here she comes. Uh, hide behind that convenient shape, conveniently shaped trash can. Dang, you did your hair and you don't have armor. You look like one of those motorcycle girls. Hey, there you are. I uh, realized if you delivered that thing, it might be a bad idea. So, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Give it to me. Huh? You, you don't have it. What? Have you at least seen her? Yeah, she's hiding right behind the trash can. Yes. So she's somewhere around here. Thanks. <laughs> I'll keep looking. Hey, Elvis, good job on that conveniently shaped trash can. Oh my God. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I uh, I really like her. Yeah, I answered that in the Metaton quiz, I kinda guessed. I mean, uh, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I, I just uh, figured, y you know, it'd be fun to go on like a cute kind of uh, pretend date with you to make you feel better. I hope this isn't true. Because if this is true, that means the girls that wanted to date me was mainly because of sympathy. Oh boy, I'm learning a lot of things from this game. Well, it sounds even worse than I, when I put it like that. It's truthful, it's okay. I'm sorry I messed up again. Undyne's the person I um, really want to go on a date with, but I, I mean she's way out in my league. Not that you aren't, I'm cool, but Undyne's cooler. Oh. She's so confident, and strong, and funny, and I'm just a nobody, a fraud, I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people, I've told her so many lies, she thinks I'm, she thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am, it's okay, people do that too, if, if she gets close to me, she'll, she'll find out the truth about me, what should I do? Keep lying? No. Tell her the truth. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? Well, honestly, it's your choice, mate. T to live a lie where both people are happy. Or a truth where neither of us are. They say, be yourself. But I, I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather be whatever makes people like me. 
Uh, no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared of what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. Oh, Alphys. I can relate a lot with that. But how can I tell Undyne the truth? I don't have the confidence. You know, this game is a lot about, like, being confident in oneself and believing that oneself can do a lot. It's not do... It's very specific on what one can do. It's not saying that one can do anything. But it's specifically saying that... I use specific like five times. Okay, but it's saying... Specifically, that people can do anything realistically in their behavior that you should just be you. That's what this game is saying, and I'm very impressed by this message, actually. Anyway, keep going. Uh, I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? You can... Let's roleplay it. <laughs> Ro roleplay? Yeah, surely you've heard of it. I mean, you watch anime, right? That ac actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one well, shall be undone? Me? Because you're talking to Undyne? Oh, alright, obviously. <laughs> um, ahem. Hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? You're cute. <laughs> I'm fine. No, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> uh, glad to hear. Uh, so, I'd like to um talk to you about something. Then she kisses you. What? What is it, Alphys? Um, you, you see, I, 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 I haven't been exactly truthful with you. You see, I. She's standing right behind you, isn't she? Oh, forget it. Undyne, I, I want to tell you how I feel. You're so brave and strong, and and nice. You always listen to me when I talk about nerdy stuff. You, you always did do your best m make me f feel special uh, like telling me that you'll be, uh, be beat up anyone that gets in my way I'm, I'm dying I, I can't take this any longer I'm madly in love with you I knew it uh, hold me Undyne hold me what did you just say? Uh, Undyne, I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? <laughs> Hi, you're cute. Okay, th that sort of makes sense in the beginning now. Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, uh, yes. I mean... No... <laughs> That look on Undyne's face, just so weird on her, I've never seen her like that. I mean, we were, but I mean, actually, we're on a... We're only romantically role-playing as you. <laughs> what? Uh, what? Uh, what? I can't do it right now. I, I mean... I, I mean... Undyne, I... I've been lying to you. Why is she smiling like that? Oh gosh, she's creepy. What? About what? Uh, about, well, everything. I, I told you that seaweed was... Really, I was just trying to... Uh, and told you human... They were just dorky comic books. And the history novels, movies, those... Uh, those are just, uh, anime. They aren't real. And that time I told you I was busy. And we were eating frozen. And... Alphys. I... I just wanted to impress you. I, I just wanted to think I was smart and cool. Okay, guys, I can't read that as fast as I thought I could, so I'm just going to leave it to you to slow it down. Let's put my glasses back on. All right. I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alphys. Undyne, I, I really think you're neat, okay? Alphys. <laughs> Shh. I mean, not to say anything that's wrong about her or anything, but why have all the relationships in this whole entire thing not been male and female? They've always, like, the last one was the ninth, and that was male and male, and then this is female and female. I mean, I guess Papyrus and Undone, no, not really. What? Mm. 
Alphys, I think you're neat too, I guess. But you've got to realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate. You're analytical. Yeah, sounds like me. It doesn't matter what it is you care about. 100% of maximum power. So, you don't have to lie on to me. I don't want to have to lie to anyone anymore, Alphys. I want to help you become happy with who you are. I actually have a friend that... Well, she didn't tell me that specifically, but... She's been helping me a lot with that, actually. Anyway. And I know just the training you need to do that. Did she dig a hole through the bottom? Uh, Undyne, you, you... You're gonna train me? <laughs> what? Me? I thought she was gonna walk over and just slam the thing down on her head again. <laughs> what? Nah. I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. Jog boy. <laughs> oh god. Get those bones shaking. It's time to jog a hundred laps, hooting about how great we are. Ready? I'm about to start the timer. I'm tired. I'll do my best. Yeah. Just moonwalk out of there. <laughs> oh my god. She was she, she was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, those are still real, right? The anime is real, right? Anime is real. <laughs> uh, I knew it. G gigantic swords, uh, magical princess. Here I can't. That's the first time I've seen her get flustered like that. Uh, thanks for taking care of Alphys. Uh, I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but things seem like they're going to get better for her? Well, I gotta go catch up with them before they lose track like losers they are. <laughs> Later, mate. How am I here? Okay, so... After, okay, that was very interesting, actually. I didn't expect that. So, um, after all this, I have to go to Alphys' lab. So, I guess I will pause the video until I get there. See you in a little bit. Never mind. Forget the pause. I just got ringed. <laughs> Howdy. If it isn't my good friend who trusts me, this is the Great Papyrus. You're also mutual friend. Alphys and I just finished our training earlier. She jogged a hundred laps. Either his laps were frickin' tiny, or you guys are frickin' fast. Very early. So, I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now... Okay, so I feel like something else happened. I feel strongly, and for no apparent reason, you should also go... There. To her lab. House. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Click. Oh. Okay, I was heading there anyway because of uh, people told me that. But all right, if I guess I could have figured it out on my own, I didn't have to actually listen. Anyway, because it says it states it here. Turn the law, care for a ride, ride in the boat. Yes. Where will we go today? Hotland. Then we're off. <laughs> the dog. Dash 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 I need to... Okay. Pause for a little bit. I'm gonna... Actually, we don't have to pause. I'm gonna look it up right now. What is the definition of determination? Determination... Definition? I've been using my phone a lot for these videos, actually. Um, 
Firmness of purpose, resolution, the process of establishing something exactly typically by calculation or research. Determination has nothing to do with seeing random stuff in random places. Or saying that mice will one day eat spaghetti. <sighs> oh, the lab's open. Okay. Oh. Seriously, where's the camera? Or is it in my room? Nope, guess not. That would have been scary if I turn around and I look back and it's like, Oh boy, it's actually me on the camera. <laughs> okay. What the? Wait, 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 what does the letter say? It's a note from Alphys. Read it? Yeah, sure. It, it's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Oh, <laughs> but you try your best. All right. Hey, um, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But, but, as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clearer. This isn't anyone else's problem, but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again... I want you to know the truth. Enter the door to the north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. Is she gone forever? Okay, how did this hole... How was this hole made? I almost forgot. Oh, that was a Metaton coming in, right? Okay, guys. Time for the big reveal. I hope I don't... It doesn't turn out that she's flower or something. Oh, gosh! Warning, warning, warning. Elevator losing power. M Terror Stability Lost Altitude Dropping. I think that actually said tether. Please don't give me a game over and say I died and it turns out that she's flowy. Oh, never mind. But there's a creepy light. This is creepy. Okay. Entry number one. This is it. Attempt to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. Oh, this is Alpha's voice. I, I will unleash the power of the soul. E entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So, to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. Okay. If you take a soul out of somebody's body, of course the host will die, but isn't it? So it's impractical. You'll destroy the soul's host, and also the soul isn't worth as much as a human. And unlike the persistent soul of humans... The souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster so last. Entry number five. I I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living. The resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. I knew it. The will to keep moving. Okay, now I get you. All right. Hmm. What's going on here? Okay. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Elevator lost power. Enter the center door. That must have been from Alphys or something. Power room. Okay, let's save here. Mm -hmm. Let's look around here first before we go into the elevator. Entry number six. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Everyone outside the city. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn into dust. What happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. It didn't work out. Something happened. 
Entry number not nine? What happened to seven and eight? Th things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust. So I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. Well, what do I do? How do they know? Huh. He turned on the sink. Okay. Let's go down the mysterious pathway. There's a note on the ground. It's barely legible. Yeah. Drain dropped it. Oh, well, you can read. Huh. It's some kind of switch. There's a red color slot in the center. Okay, so I need to find a red key card, apparently. Why did this turn into Amnesia? Or Dark Descent? Or any horror game ever? It's not a horror game, I know that. It's just, it's giving that feeling. And if he had changed the music into something more scary, well, I would definitely be scared of this right now. Let's see, what's in here? It's a fake plant. Okay, I was hoping that the card was going to be in there. What about this? Buy chip for 25 Sure. The vending machine dispensed some chips. This must be it. The chips that... Okay. I should have checked that earlier, actually. What are these? It's some kind of operating table. It's stick... Yuck. Whenever anything's sticky, I always wonder what caused it. It's some kind of switch. There's a... Yeah, okay. Can I put a chip in it? Let's see. Uh, items. Info. Potato chip. Seriously? They were just potato chips? Darn it. Okay, I wasted my money on nothing. <sighs> I like this music, though. It's like giving a comfortable vibe so I don't feel all scared of the game. Wait, can I just... Wait, what's going on? I can't go into the elevator. This says power room. Okay. Um, so that's not... Oh, I didn't check this plant. Is there something in here? It's a fake plant. There's nothing here. And if I walk back, it's... No, it's an empty hallway. So, there's nothing there. There's... I already bought chips, and there's nothing in the chips. They're just chips. Huh. Okay. There's something on these ca in these cabinets. Or whatever these are. See, turn on the water. You turn on the sink. You. Oh my gosh! Run. This reminds me of those. Uh, what do you call the missing nose? They have no figure. Item. The enemy puts a piece of itself in your inventory. Oh my gosh! What it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's what these do? Oh, man. Okay. I can do this. All right. Item. Seriously? Bad memory. Let's use that. You consume bad memory. You lost one HP. You suck. I probably should have been able to delete it or something. Okay. Let's just stay in the corner unless something forms. Okay. Okay, that was tough. Nobody came. Stats fell. Cell phone. Stats. Check. No data available. Do I just run away? Is that the only thing I can do? It's just, that's what it feels like I can do. That's it. Okay, I'm dodging their attacks easily. Spare. I can't even spare them. Okay. Item. Cell. Stat. 17 attack. 21 defense. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Nobody came. Cell. You take out your cell phone. You can hear voices through the receiver. Come join the fun. Oh gosh, that's creepy. When did this chart start turning into games like horror games? Okay, nobody came. Oh! Memory head. Refuse. Oh well. It's a real good get together. Become one of us. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh wow, I avoided that one. Seems like it doesn't care anymore. Oh, thank goodness. You won. Zero? Oh, what's that? There's a red key line there in the sink. Awesome. 
no, don't, don't. Okay, good. It's just normal. Oh. Put it in. The red key clicks perfectly in the slot. I'm assuming that has something to do with like the power in the power room or something like that. Okay. And the other assumption I'm gonna make is that was one of the test subjects' office used. Cause that's creepy. Can I go in? No, I can't go in yet. Um. Oh, good. The red door. Oh, that's. Oh. That's the power room, as in... Okay, I should read these, but basically if I give energy to red, yellow, green, and blue, then I can go in. Or maybe that's just power. Okay. Entry number 12. N nothing is happening. I, I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. That's not a good idea. I, I want this to work. But if you're desperate, I guess you would do something like this. Entry number 13. One of the bodies opened its eyes. That's creepy. It's an empty uh, dog food bowl. What was that noise? Okay. Uh, just a bunch of potted plants. More beds. What does this say? Oh, and a clock on the wall. Entry number 14. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around and talking like n nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. The clock is broken. Okay, if there's a save point here, that means there's a battle or something. Entry number 15. It seems like this research was a dead end, but at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls and the vessels back to Asgore, and I called all of the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll be sending everyone back tomorrow. Yay. Entry number 16. No, 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 no. That's a weird entry. Was my assumption correct? What is this? Darn it. it. Smells like sweet lemons. Lemon bread. Oh, wait. Scream, hum, flex, cry, unhug, hum. You hum a f familiar tune. Welcome, welcome to my special, special hell. hell. Oh, what? Oh! Oh! Darn it. Okay, items, uh, glam burger. You eat the glam burger. HP was maxed out. This is a here with me. Ah. Okay. How do you move fast enough? Glam burger. HP was maxed Do you think I'm pretty? Ah. I'm never fast enough. Okay, act. Scream. You scream out, but nobody came. All that. But nobody came. Whoa! I'm gonna die here, am I? Hmm. I have to use an item. Glam burger. You eat the glam burger, you HP. <laughs> That's what they all say. Oh! Why do I keep messing up on these? No! This one's really hard. I, I have no idea how I can do this one. Unhug. You let lemon bread be. Lemon bread's teeth shake. That's what they all say. Okay. 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 Oh. That one was easier. It smells like sweet lemons. Um. Unhug. You let lemon bread be. Nothing else happens. Darn it. But nobody came. Okay, how am I supposed to dodge that? Okay, never mind. I will look up how to do this one because our fate rests upon you, Kim. Stay determined. Well, now I know that's Asgore. Okay, guys, well, um, I'm going to end this episode here. Sorry to end on such a cliffhanger because we're actually learning what Alpha is, is doing here. But... I don't actually know what else to do here other than to look around and there's a bunch of flowers okay and there's a mirror all right we're gonna stop here because this whole thing is creeping me out it's midnight right now actually for me anyway thank you so much everybody for watching my video if you liked it please hit that like button down below subscribe for more of my content playlist will be after the video and in the description if you want to watch any and I will see you next time